Tens of thousands of elderly Holocaust survivors in Israel are now facing the threat of a freezing winter. This is the moment for a winter miracle in Israel. Hear the urgent call to action to all of God's people to come to their rescue. Here's Dr. Mike Evans. The Jerusalem prayer team has received an urgent appeal from Jerusalem asking if we would help some of the forgotten, poverty-stricken Holocaust victims. My heart was broken as I realized how awful this winter will be for the poor elderly people in Israel unless they keep warm. I knew something had to happen fast, and I had to get as many people involved as possible. Haven't these people already suffered too much? There are still almost 230,000 of them who have survived the Holocaust. The little money they have goes to food and medicine. I just wanted to give them my coat, but that would only help one. I am asking you to give them a warm winter coat and hat today so they can be warm enough to survive this bitter cold winter. Dr. Mike Evans is the founder of the Jerusalem Prayer Team and has served as the chairman of the board of the Corey Ten Boom Foundation for over 25 years. Dr. Evans purchased and restored the home of Corey Ten Boom in Holland. The home is open as a Holocaust museum. He is a respected humanitarian to the Holy Land. More than 300 international Christian leaders have lent their support to the Jerusalem prayer team that he founded and leads. They include Reverend Joel Osteen, Pat Robertson, Kenneth Copeland, Dr. Jack Hafer, the late Mother Teresa, and Dr. Tim LaHaye. Here again is Dr. Mike Evans. Let me speak to you from my heart. Many years ago, I had a cup of soup with an elderly Dutch lady, Corrie ten Boom. Her family hid, fed, clothed, and saved the lives of 800 Jewish men, women, and children who would have become Holocaust victims. They were hidden in the tiny clock shop owned by the Ten Boom family in Holland. Most of the family members lost their lives because of their heroic actions. The Jerusalem prayer team, which I founded, is a compassionate outreach to Jewish people in Israel and is a branch of the Cory Ten Boom Holocaust Center in Holland. I have served as the chairman of the board for almost 28 years. We have received an urgent appeal asking if we will provide warm winter coats and hats for some of the 230,000 elderly impoverished Holocaust victims now living in Israel. The reality is, I can't say yes to such an urgent need unless you say yes. This is the reason for my appeal to you today. This is a very personal matter to me. I am Jewish. My mother came from an Orthodox Jewish background. Her grandfather and entire congregation were burnt to death in their synagogue in Russia while he was conducting the service. People had boarded up the doors, the windows, and then set the building on fire. She also told me I would never meet many of my relatives. They had fled to Germany from Russia where they experienced the same agony in the concentration camps. Perhaps now you realize why this request for the elderly Holocaust survivors is so personal to me. Please respond to this urgent need right now. I was asked if we would help provide fleece coats and hats this winter to elderly Jews living in poverty. These elderly survivors receive about $10 per day for living expenses. In this economy, it doesn't even cover the basics. These men and women live in abject poverty. There are over 700,000 impoverished, elderly, forgotten Jewish people living in Israel, and one-third of the elderly numbering nearly 230,000 are Holocaust survivors. Most of the forgotten Holocaust survivors are over 80 years of age. I pray for you today according to God's Word, which declares from Psalm 122.6 that those who bless Jerusalem would prosper. And Genesis 12.3, I will bless them that bless thee. These elderly Jews are the last remaining survivors of the Holocaust. They urgently need a warm coat and hat to protect them against the cold winter. This can truly be a winter miracle in Israel. As you help, I assure you that God proclaims a special blessing on those who help the poor. 
230,000 World War II Holocaust survivors now live in Israel. Most are over 80 years old and live well below the poverty line. This winter, many could get sick and die because of the cold. Dr. Mike Evans, the founder of the Jerusalem Prayer Team and the chairman of the board of the Corey Ten Boom Foundation in Holland, knows that the act of Christian love that saved over 800 Jews from death in the concentration camps is the same Christian love that we now have the opportunity to share as we reach out to them and help save their lives once again. He wants you to join him and make this the season of a great winter miracle in Israel by providing these precious elderly people with warm fleece coats and hats. I am with Haya in Jerusalem, and Haya is alone. Her, she has cancer and many diseases, and she couldn't even paint this little modest place. And Christians came, three of them came, and painted her place, and she expressed how grateful she was to them. You've given her a warm winter coat today. This is a woman whose family suffered in the Holocaust, but she survived and she's alone because they've forgotten people like Chaim in Jerusalem. Thank you for caring. Thank you for reaching out in love. Chaim, would you say thank you? I thank all of these nice people, generous people, American people, for this, that they understand us and they are our friends. God bless you. God bless you. Beautiful, beautiful. Dr. Mike Evans is one of the world's leading experts on Israel and is known for reaching out in compassion to Israel for more than two and a half decades. Now, here is Dr. Mike Evans. I can't imagine trying to live on less than $10 per day in today's world. But these poor elderly Jewish people in Israel are trying to do it. They might be able to get some food and maybe vital medicines, but that's about it. When we arrive with fleece coats and hats, they are thrilled. It is like we've saved their lives, and for many, that may be the case. In the bitter cold of the winter in Israel, they shiver and try to survive. This is urgent. We need to deliver the coats and hats, and it's getting colder by the day. Holy Scriptures tell us in Isaiah 58, 7 and 8, I want you to share your food with the hungry and to welcome the poor wanderers into your home. Give clothes to those who need them, and do not hide from relatives who need your help. If you do these things, your salvation will come like the dawn. Yes, your healing will come quickly. Your godliness will lead you forward, and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. This is our privilege and our duty as the people of God. When we do our part, God will bless and keep us. Let's do it now, while we can. Join me and let's put warm coats and hats on these precious elderly people in Israel. The forgotten elderly Holocaust survivors in Israel are often trying to exist on only $10 per day, living in poverty. The winter becomes very harsh, and they can't stay warm enough. Many get sick, and some just won't be able to survive the cold in Israel this winter. Mike Evans and the Jerusalem prayer team was asked to do something to help them immediately. In fulfillment of prophecy, the Jewish people who were scattered across the globe have returned to live in their homeland. Now there are hundreds of thousands of elderly citizens, including 230,000 Holocaust survivors who are in terrible poverty. Most of them are over 80. In the cold, their stone or concrete rooms are very difficult to heat. Many perish from sickness in these freezing temperatures. But with your help, we can give them a warm fleece coat and hat. It will make all the difference in the world to them. It will save many lives. 
We can get these fleece coats and hats at a low cost if we purchase a large number now. Many are needed right now. The winter is already here. It will be a winter miracle in Israel, but we need to act fast. I am asking for your help. My name is Berta Grishin. I am from Jerusalem. I am 80 years old. I have a son and three grandchildren, and I'm happy to be here. The people are very nice in America, very kind. And so I congratulate, congratulate them with such people who are helping us and coming to us. Well, so I don't know what to say else. I want you to know that we love you. And we thank you for the opportunity to to be, to be with you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And we are praying for you. And it's an honor and a blessing to meet you and hear your beautiful story. God has his hand on your life in a great way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What is your name? And where are you from? Originally from Kiev. Will you thank the people in America? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. With barely enough money for their food and some medications each month, the elderly, many who live in poverty in Israel, are facing the cold of a harsh winter. The only answer is to provide super warm fleece coats and hats so they can stay warm enough to live through this winter. Call right now and say yes. I want to help provide warm coats and hats for these precious Holocaust survivors. Mother Teresa told me, love is not something you say, it's something you do. She also said, you can't love Jesus without loving the Jewish people because Jesus was Jewish. That's why I ask for your help today. $60 will provide three coats and hats. $100 will provide five coats and hats and $1,000 will provide 50 coats and hats. It will be a great feeling to know that we made a difference and saved lives. When you give $60 to provide three coats and hats, I want to send you this beautiful limited edition print of an original painting that hangs in my office of Abraham and Isaac. It will remind you that you blessed the seed of Abraham and it has an inscription that says, I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. When you give $100 to provide five coats and hats, I will send you one of these beautiful Hebraic Afghans. You can display in your home or you can use it for warm comfort yourself. Those who call in to share a gift of $1,000 to bless the poor with 50 coats and hats will receive a special gift. I will send you this stunning silver trimmed authentic shofar. The shofar is used to call God's people to prayer and it will symbolize that you answered that call. God bless you for calling to help. 